Hi folks, we've been busy researching digital audio workstation control surfaces to help you figure out what you need to make your best audio and video content and stay on budget. Links to all the products in the review are in the description box below, where you'll find current pricing for your region wherever possible. The video has timestamps, so that you can jump straight to the product that interests you the most. Now before I move on, we'd love to hear what DAW control surface you're using right now and what you think of it. Let us know in the comments. Okay, let's get into it. Here are the top 5 best DAW control surfaces. The fifth product on our list is the Behringer X-Touch 1. Behringer's X-Touch 1 is a universal DAW controller that works great in both live and studio applications. The X-Touch 1 has a compact build that fits in a motorised fader, dynamic LCD scribble strip, rotary encoder, 34 backlit buttons, an 8 segment LED meter, a large jog shuttle wheel and transport controls. With this build you get a DAW surface that's packed with all your critical parameter controls. The X-Touch 1 also boasts standard note and CC MIDI assignments. You'll also find a bunch of presets for the Mackie control and support for most digital audio workstations. There are a couple of customizable user presets to customize your workflow. The dynamic LCD strip gives you an instant overview of your track names and parameters. This makes monitoring your work much easier. Overall, the Behringer X-Touch 1 is a great DAW controller for beginners who want to get down the basics. It's a no-fuss device that can cater to a wide range of users. The fourth product on our list is the Roland ARA MX-1. The Roland ARA MX-1 is a flexible DAW controller that can be integrated easily into your studio setup. The build is straightforward with a plastic chassis and a selection of faders, knobs and sequencer buttons. The controls are backlit, so you'll know which ones are active, making it easy to keep track of your parameters. The ARA MX-1 features an 18-channel mixer. You can use it as a standalone device or as an interface for your computer. This controller boasts an array of connectivity options as well. You'll find two pairs of mono quarter-inch jack inputs, a stereo quarter-inch jack and USB ports. The 11 mixer channels that you'll find on the front panel are responsible for controlling the various inputs. There's a dedicated fader, effect selection buttons and a single tone or filter dial for each input. This Roland product has a lot more to offer with an assortment of effect capabilities and designable channels with 5 variations to choose from. The Roland ARA MX-1 is an excellent choice for the musician who wants more control. The third product on our list is the Presonus Fader Port Production Controller. The Presonus Fader Port Production Controller is a fantastic control surface that gives you flexibility in a small package. First off, you'll find a touch sensitive 100mm motorised fader. This allows you to write fades and automate them in real time. There's also a large push button encoder that you can use to edit and mix audio quickly. Presonus optimizes its HUI mode for Pro Tools and includes custom microcontroller operating modes for Logic Pro, Ableton Live and Cubase. This gives you plenty of options if you like to explore digital workstations. When you want to switch between DAWs, you'll have to hold the next button down and turn the unit's power switch on. 24 buttons cover 40 unique functions for controls, including transport controls, channel record enable, enable disable looping and automation behaviour selection. If you're looking to work and mix audio quickly and with better accuracy, the Presonus Fader Port Production Controller would be a wonderful addition to any home or professional studio. The second product on our list is the Korg Nano Control Studio. The Korg Nano Control Studio is a DAW controller that looks sleek and works like a charm. The first thing you'll notice about this unit is its compact size and thoughtfully designed layout. You'll find the mute, solo record and select buttons on the upper area of the device for easy access. The faders are placed below the buttons and made longer to give you more flexibility when editing. The jog wheel is on the leftmost corner and above it you'll find a scene button. This gives you the option to switch between five separate controller assignment pages when you're in MIDI mode. All the buttons have white backlighting making it easier to keep track of your current setting even under non-ideal lighting conditions. There's a switch on the back of the control studio that lets you select between USB and Bluetooth mode. It also allows you to power both of them off which is an effective way to conserve energy. If you're in the market for a wireless controller that works great with mobile or PC setups, Korg's Nano Control Studio is an excellent choice.
The first product on our list is the Presonus IO Station 24C. The Presonus IO Station 24C is a flexible and intuitive dog control surface. It features an ergonomic layout for the solo musician who likes to work long sessions. It also has a compact build, making it easy to fit into any studio setup. On the back end of the device, you'll find two solid state X Max Class A mic preamps. These are preamps that audiophiles will love as it offers you crystal clear audio and plenty of volume and headroom, even with your gain turned all the way down. The IO Station 24C also boasts professional grade digital audio converters, offering 115 decibels of dynamic range. This means that you'll get expressive and detailed sounds, perfect for vocal and instrumental recordings. This PreSonus unit has converters that can operate at up to 192kHz resolution. This gives you the best possible quality for your audio recordings if you need them. If you work with different DAWs, you'll love that this unit has a streamlined workflow and controls for Mackie control and HUI protocols. If you're looking for versatility and adaptability in a small package, there's no better choice than the PreSonus IO Station 24C. And there you have it folks, the five DAW control surfaces that got us excited this year. If this video helped you in any way, let us know by giving it a like. And if you're new here, hitting the subscribe button. If you would like to see some more reviews from our team here at Gear Music Tech, check out this video on audio mixers on the left, or this one on studio monitor controllers on the right. We look forward to seeing you back here on Gear Music Tech soon. Bye for now.